talk about spring break, yeah. the most exciting week of the year for college students and gonorrhea. Yeah. <laughs> gonorrhea, not that bad. Of course, one of the hottest spring break destinations is Florida, where the beaches are as bountiful as the meth dealers. But in recent years, the fun has been getting dangerously out of hand, and one Florida city has had enough. Miami Beach is breaking up with spring break. Shutting down spring break in Miami? This year, city officials told those spring breakers to go somewhere else. Restrictions, including the closing of the beach at 6 p.m. and liquor stores at 8. To drive the message home, a public service announcement that's gone viral. Miami Beach telling rowdy spring breakers, it's not us, it's you. Maybe we can talk when you're done with your spring break phase. <laughs> Miami is shutting down spring break? Where else will college students be able to get alcohol poisoning and have terrible sex with each other? <laughs> and who is Miami to get upset with spring break? One in three people there is a DJ. Are they like, keep it down, I'm trying to be super loud over here? <laughs> now, because of the crackdown, many students have decided to go to Fort Lauderdale instead of Miami. But that's not a good idea either, because one, it's Fort Lauderdale, and two, the cops there are hassling spring breakers in a way that might even be worse. Spring break descending on Fort Lauderdale, Florida, with huge crowds flocking there after Miami put in strict curfews and restrictions. But Fort Lauderdale police are turning the festivities into a possible job offer. We're out here um, just spreading the message that we're recruiting right now actively for uh, police officers. Sing-alongs, trivia games, the Fort Lauderdale police having fun with spring breakers. Are you guys ready? Yeah! All right, you got your thinking caps on? You ready to go? Obviously, they don't have their thinking caps on. Then they'd get a thinking cap tan line. But I'm sorry, do you know how bad your spring break has to be to want to become a cop afterwards? <laughs> Usually, when college students get blackout drunk, they wake up with a penis sharpie on their face. These kids are waking up like, why do I have a police badge? try to convince spring breakers to become cops? Are you just like walking down the beach? You guys are in good shape. Would you be willing to get out of shape? <laughs> hey, I see you're blowing all I see you're blowing all your parents' money. How'd you like to blow an entire city's money? So you're not solving a murder at the moment. Would you like to get paid to not solve a murder? <laughs> I notice you've been sitting doing nothing for six straight hours. You want to keep doing that, but with a gun? Crushed a lot of beer today. Want to keep doing that, but with a gun? <laughs> of course, if you don't want a good job, Desi. Of course, if you don't yeah. want to go to Florida, there are literally hundreds of other fun, dozens of other, there's one other fun place for you to go on spring break, and that's New Orleans. And to prove the Big Easy still knows how to party, here's Fox News with a major scoop. I had the opportunity to talk to one lady yesterday, a young lady. She's a senior at Texas Tech, and she told me when I asked her what does she do to prep for spring break, she says she applies her bronzer and then she does cocaine. And I, that really goes to the heart of this. That's some story. She applies the bronzer before she does the line of coke. She, she wants to look good before she gets hot. I've never heard it before. Right? That's crazy, and she admitted that. Oh, stop. I mean, this, this isn't the first time Fox has talked to someone who's abusing bronzer and cocaine. <laughs> They've been covering the Trumps for nine years. Hey! hey! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Uh, take it. At least she's doing it in the right order. I mean, this one time, I snorted bronzer and applied cocaine, and <laughs> it totally ruined my grandmother's funeral. But <laughs> the point is, Spring break can be risky. People are abusing drugs. They're getting into trouble. They're considering careers in law enforcement. It's frightening stuff. And, <laughs> and that's why, for the sake of yourself and for your future kids, drop out of college. It's, it's the only way you can avoid spring break altogether.